today's Sunday. Um, this represents two days of jewelry buying by my wife. Uh, yesterday, I didn't really get to film her stuff. So he's like, hey, you want to shoot it? Fine with me. Uh, shoot it today. This was Saturday, and everything here she got at the Meadowlands. This was uh, today, Sunday. And um, today we went to a um, kind of an antique or flea market. It's uh, at the Wayne Pal. And they usually have, sometimes they have some really nice jewelry there and, and really nice glass and, and some art and, and old toys and stuff like that. Um, I'll go through that next. This is what we got uh, yesterday set at the Meadowlands. She told me she paid $40 for this, $60 for that, so 100 for everything. This was 40 And you can see she got the dangle necklaces that she likes so much. And um, anything chrome, um, nice larger pieces. This is a gold tone one, gold tone one. Most of this stuff, it's actually cold out, so I might sound a little shivery. Um, she likes big, chunky-looking stuff. Most of this stuff needs to be cleaned. And then, again, she likes the, that 70s dangly stuff that was popular. Um, a lot of people, she likes statement pieces, pe um, things that people will, like, put on and they'll notice. And most of this stuff, like, see this big machine age, uh, especially since Valentine's Day is coming, uh, heart bracelets, and all of this stuff is generally flea market stuff for us. She will sell all this stuff in the probably 5 to maybe 10 or $12 range or something like that. Like, here's, like, a really cool... Uh, modern looking um, bracelet. I think she said something in here was Napier, but I don't know. You know, I don't, I don't know what it is. I, I'm, it's kind of chill. I don't have time to go through everything. Here's um, a cross, a cru uh, crucifix. Here's um, some heavy metal earrings, kind of maybe brutalist. Oh, you know what? Maybe those are Napier. Oh, th these are something Pearl. I remember that name. I think it's Alvin Pearl. Um, she'll probably look that one up. Here's another, like, um, since Valentine's Day is coming, she's getting these heart bracelets. Um, this is just a faux pearl gold tone bracelet. Uh, I already showed this. Uh, these are cool, you know. This this might be like a brutalist design earring. I'm not really sure. Um, then, again, this is that 70s retro stuff. Big chunky stuff, more hearts, another bracelet. Um, this is like a clamper. A gold tone clamper with a big knot design in the front, and then another dangly necklace. And um, here's a, a charm bracelet. Again, this stuff. Oh, and it's got little faces and balls. Um, this is not really valuable stuff. I don't think anything here is worth more, more than like twenty dollars to anyone. But it's definitely nice stuff and stuff she can move at a reasonable price at flea markets and stuff that will look good. You know, imagine this um, hanging over a black. Uh, turtleneck, something like that, and uh, and here's another, again another heart design chrome bracelet. These were probably from the '60s or something, and I think that's it. She said she got like 20 pieces: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Two pieces. She said were free, so that's that. Now I'm going to shoot this stuff, but I have to take it out of the bags, um, and I'm going to do that in a minute. I I'll, I'll edit the two videos together. Hey, uh, this is the rest of the stuff that my wife got today at the Wayne. Uh, today she got stuff at the Wayne Pal. The uh, stuff in the first video was bought on Saturday at the Meadowlands. Uh, this was all bought today, Sunday, at the Wayne Pal, which is an antique show they have like once a month. Um, she got this nice looking necklace. Um, it has like a look of something that's, that's much older than it probably is. Um, this is made by a designer, Liz... Pete Pajankos? Lynch, Lynch, not familiar. SF. Liz. I'm spending too much on it. It's very nice, very pretty. I don't think she, I don't think anything here, again, except for maybe that piece over there, uh, she's going to get a lot of money for. Uh, she likes enamel flower pins. A lot of people do. Um, so she got a blue and an orange one. I guess they're a set. She got a little ballerina pin. This we may stick on eBay. This is a nice micro mosaic. Um, flower design pin from Italy. Uh, it's got some hallmark right there. And these are popular in the 60s and earlier. Um, she might put it on eBay. You know, if she takes it to the flea market, they'll only want to give her like $10. On eBay, she might be able to get like $25 or, or more. She liked this necklace. She doesn't believe it's old or anything like that. It wasn't expensive. She thought uh, it was nice looking. She got some earrings. She probably needs these earrings to match a necklace that she has. Um... I highly doubt these are gold. She probably just liked the dangle and the stones on them. Uh, 
these are marcasite. Oh, these are silver. So it looks like she got a pair of silver marcasite earrings. She probably sell those for ten dollars. These are kind of neat, uh, kind of lucite look to them. Uh, I guess she just liked the way they looked. Um, this is looks rather old. I guess this is probably. I guess it's Victorian. And it's got faux pearls and it's on a fabric. I'm not really sure about this. this I, I know it's old though. It has definitely has age. Again, I don't know if she paid for individual pieces. The only one I know is that one over there. She told me she paid 12 This looks like a wood bead. Like a dyed ebony type wood bead necklace. Um, these look like glass, but they aren't. They're plastic, but they do have a nice look. Um, like faceted beads. She buys sets. This is an earring and necklace set. She buys sets like this for a friend uh, who likes to to buy jewelry for my wife and who also likes sets. It's just a faux, po, crystal, uh, faux pearl and crystal. Um, these look like lucite beads uh, but they're glass and they're strung individually. Um, I guess she just like the glass beads. I don't know. Uh, there's nothing screaming any particular maker or designer or anything like that to me. No, she probably just thinks they're nice. As you can see, they're nice beads. They also have, uh, they have that kind of lucite, um, milky look to them. Uh, she got some bracelets. I don't know if she paid for bracelets. Uh, maybe this is silver. Kind of looks like silver. It might not be. It's very light. I don't know. It just has a nice look to it. It may or may not be silver. Uh, this one... Again, this looks like it could be silver. Uh, I don't see anything jumping out at me. No, it says SJ, so that's probably a designer. It's probably just she liked it because the hearts must like it. Um, this is an Asian motif um, bracelet. This just has a flowers on it. Uh, I don't know if it has a designer name there. But yeah, there is a designer name, but I'm sure it's nothing too valuable. Oh, Avon. Okay. Um, here's another heart. Uh, Valentine's Day is coming. We're actually in February. It's not that far away. And then she liked this bead because um, I'm probably going to give it to my daughter. My daughter's in art school, so it, there's like paint brushes, uh, some abstract art, blue paint, um, like, like an easel with a painting on it. Um, a palette with brushes and that says Rue de la Paris. <coughs> Here's a nice old looking bracelet. Uh, I don't know what the metal is. It's probably a white metal. I don't even... Oh, here's a clasp. It doesn't tell me anything. It's just kind of a cool design. Oh, you know what? It needs to be it needs to be repaired. Someone gave that to her. Um, here's a pair of gold tone earrings. She probably bought these to match another pair of uh, a necklace or something like that. And then this is probably the favorite thing she bought today. It's not signed. There's nothing really to it, but it's just a really cool, big, look how big that bead is. Uh, pearl and gold tone uh, necklace. And uh, she may have to put that on eBay. She paid $12 for it. I mean, she might try and get like 25 at a flea market. Might be hard to do. If she lists it, um, she'll just have to call it big chunky runway whatever flash statement jewelry uh, i don't know how she'll word it but um that's everything she did get um today i actually didn't buy anything the only thing i saw was one game i could have bought and i was like oh man i, I spent so much money this weekend it was like for the, to buy one thing who cares uh it would have been a very small profit item it was like a super mario 2 and i just bought one yesterday so they wanted 10 for it i probably could have sold it for maybe 16 18 i was like ah, oh, who cares but uh so i did not get anything today just the, Oh, my wife.